may not be suitable for all audiences. Wait, Clutch! Listen! I hear something! So do I. And by golly, whatever it is, it's getting closer. Art, 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 art 101 with Mr. Burger. Scholars, welcome back to another episode of Art 101 with me, Mr. Berger. I'm a professional artist and educator attempting to provide you with the best in art historical content. If you like the content or appreciate it or have those in your life that might appreciate it, share it around. It's free, so you might as well. No, just let me tell the story, okay, Jim? The Iowa artist Grant Wood is known for making so many great pieces. The... Probably the best known of those is American Gothic, but in Sioux City, Iowa, there's a work, a mural of sorts, called The Corn Room by Grant Wood. Let's take a look at the corn room in Sioux City, Iowa at the Sioux City Art Center. You can't get out of the Sioux City Art Center without going up and taking a look at the Corn Room, which was also created by Grant Wood. This is a very early 1927 example of Grant Wood. To put it in context, this is about three years before he really broke it big with American Gothic. At any rate, we see a lot of the Grant Wood elements being created here in this mural. Now, the mural itself was actually created for the Martin Hotel again in 1927. And in the 1950s, at some point, there was a renovation and they ended up covering over the mural. They put plaster or wallpaper or some sort of covering over it and it was just kind of buried in the wall. Well, fast forward to 1979 and there was a interview that took place in Sioux City with the painting assistant of Grant Wood. Now, the gentleman's name is Carl Ibers and Mr. Ibers mentioned that this painting was probably still in there. They uncovered it. It was restored and pulled out of the wall and then eventually found its way to the Sioux City Art Center where it is to this day. Now one of the more fascinating pieces to me about that interview is Mr. Iber's account of how Grant Wood executed this mural. It was actually painted by subtraction. Now you're probably wondering what in the world does that mean Mr. Berger? No need to snap. Just a question. What Mr. Ibers would do is he would apply a thin coat of paint and glaze onto the wall and right behind him would be Grant Wood who would go to work on that wet paint and glaze with a dry brush, a rag, and his thumb. And using a combination of these tools, he would wipe off the paint to create the stocks and the barn and the other buildings there and all of these other details within the work by removing paint rather than adding paint. So it's kind of a reverse sort of process. I hope you love that and Grant Wood, my Iowa brethren, as much as uh, I love being able to bring it to you. You have a great day and we'll see you next time. Take care, man. Gotta get back. Sure. Take it easy, dude. Oh, yeah. I know that you will.